Hi guys, just a quick look here at uh, Volmit on uh, 136.025 um, megahertz on the um, VHF, uh, low VHF I think it is, uh, airband, civil air. Um, uh, this radio, the Uniden uh, SDS200D, hasn't got any filter section for AM, so whatever you get on AM, that's what you get. It's got some audio filters somewhere hidden deep within the menus that actually restricts its scanning speed depending on which filter you select and makes very little difference to the audio, in my opinion. There is no... Um, there is no um, filter as in... Uh, try to get the angle, get the shine off the screen. Um, there is no um, filter selection as in the bandwidth. Uh, as far as I know, there's only AM, narrow FM. Um, well, let's just have a quick look, actually. I'll, I'll just be able to show you what the selections are for the bandwidth. Uh, if you go to, you have to dig into a menu as well, obviously. Edit custom. Civil air, for instance, modulation. Uh, auto is what we're on now. AM is what we're on now as well. Cause it's, auto, it's AM in that frequency range. Narrow FM, which I don't know what the filter is. It doesn't say in the book or anywhere. FM, wide FM, and then um, FM broadcast, which is obviously very wide FM. Um, and that's, that's the selection you get there for demodulation. Anyway, so this volume, it says anyone bandwidth. Not bad signal. Uh, not a great signal, but legible, intelligible, readable, whatever you want to call it. You can hear it. You can understand it. And let's just compare that to the uh, ICOM down here, the 8500. A little bit more hiss on here. Slightly louder. Bit muffled on narrow. Too wide. On wide. Probably a bit too wide on that, to be honest. There's another channel that has quite a bit of activity around in the Midlands area where I live in the UK. As you can see, we've got a low signal. Good though. Good again. Slightly more signal, but a little bit more noise, perhaps. Let's just try the uh, Uniden again. Yeah, more interference. More noticeable hiss. Let's see where those filters are. Edit custom, civil air, that's what we're on. Uh, there is no filter check on there. That. That's where it should be, in my opinion again, but it isn't. Search limit, delay time, modulation, attenuator, set up, uh, sorry, step set, uh, set step. Uh, digital writing now, and search for scan. So I don't, I can't remember where the filters are. I think it might be in settings. Let's just have a quick look while we're on the video. Uh, settings. Uh, Yes, uh, audio settings anywhere. Global audio filth, that's it. So here we go. So if we go to, say, let's just say, uh, it's on off at the moment. So if we go to, um, this is your filter, filter, and it's global means every channel of this, on this rig. Um, so let's go to um, wide, wide. There's now narrow look. So let's just go to normal. Stick it on normal. Just double check it's took it. Damn it. Uh, uh, set. Where's oh, the audio filter going? I've lost it now. 
Uh, yeah, there you go. Global Earth. So it's on normal now. Let's just have a listen to that. It sounds quieter, to be honest. It definitely sounds quieter to me. Um, uh, this is annoying. You have to go into the... I don't, it, it's an audio filter, they say, but they're very vague. Uh, Unid and R on their books, um, on their manuals. Um, global audio filter, it's not that buried, actually. So let's go to um, uh, auto. Sounds the same. <laughs> See what I mean by you can't really tell the difference. Uh, let's just try invert or something like that. One more. Global audio filter. Let's try invert. Let's go crazy. No difference. Not to me. No difference to me. So there you go. Those are the filters. So also they make scanning very slow. So I just switch it off. <laughs> and uh, what are the settings we got in here? Band defaults now. Uh, what well, I'm gonna miss? Narrow FM. Oh no, I am. There you go. Right, okay, guys. That's it. Just a quick. Uh, Comparison then. To be honest, that has got slightly noisy in it. Slightly louder. Sounds quite good. I mean, like I said, these the I I rate these Uniden radios uh, quite highly, especially on obviously UHF and VHF, but especially on FM because I think they're built for FM to be honest. But I mean, they're great on this this particular part of um, the band. They're really good. I think they're really good on um, because they've been doing it for years. I think. I think it's because Uniden, Uniden, however you want to pronounce it, have been doing it for years. Um, they've been making radios for years, specialising in this band. Um, you know, it really is a nice radio, this is. I should do a full review, and I think I've done a couple of comparisons on it, but I need to do a full review, and it is, it is a tidy radio, and you do you do pay for it, and it's, um, you know, you really do pay for it. Um, they're quite expensive, so. Right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll do a full review on this soon and probably more than likely, to be honest, more comparison videos coming up. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.